I need a new chaplain. Who's the holiest person I know? Male Runid. And he's not that holy. Maybe I should invite a holy man because, um, I want, yeah. Gilla Brigti has appeared. Okay, let's, let's get Gilla Brigti. Oh, Gilla Brigti is worse somehow. Okay, male, you've got it. Now, what was he doing? Improving religious relations with, uh, the Pope. Il Papa in Rome. Excellent. Who else? Oh, did I assign the wrong Anya to someone to look after? Great King Connor, peace be with you. I gladly accept the guardianship contract. Oh, no, wait, there it goes. Okay, yeah, she's off. She's having a good time. Um, maybe I should try and arrange for her to marry this dude. Oh, no, he's married already. Okay. Could she marry this guy who's looking after her or his son Aid uh yeah how would you like to marry her oh it has to be a betrothal because she's young he would say no well 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 look how much gold I'm getting 3.1 a month that's pretty good Oh, my wife's pregnant again. Oh my god. Well, I'm a fertile old bastard, am I? Um, are there any more factions scheming against me? No, religion's going pretty well. I can, oh, I can appoint a successor for Bishop Merca. Who's this next in line for the Pope? Sylvester IV. Oh, I don't like that Pope's moustache. He looks like a villain. I'm not fond of it. I can make him an anti-Pope. Oh my god, I can make my own Pope right here in Ireland. Oh, wouldn't wouldn't people be proud then? But I won't. Not yet. What plot can I do? I can revoke one of the counties. Um, no, I don't think I'll do that. Go on a grand hunt. Costs 25 gold and increases mon monthly prestige. Um, oh well, I've got a good bit of money. Or I can hold a feast again. Why don't I hold another feast? This is always good to uh, get to know the vassals and, um, you know, maybe marry off some of the younger kids before they get too old. Speaking of, Connor the Second, how's his kids coming along? Okay, the best part of a feast is deciding what foodstuffs to serve. I must purchase venison, boar and duck, spices, wine and ale, honey for desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even swan or peacock. Let's, uh, let's spend lavishly. We've got the money. We'll invite, we're inviting Phelan, Tuhal, and Mirka. Okay. Guests have arrived. Oh, it's like, come dine with me. What will they rate me? What'll I make them for a starter? What's my entertainment? Will I get them in sumo suits and will I get them to wrestle? I think that could be fun. They'll enjoy that. The feast goes on an awful long time, actually. It's a very big dinner. There's a lot of courses. Look at my shield. It's pretty cool. Last of the guests has returned home and everyone agreed it was the year's greatest feast. That was it. We didn't get any events or anything. Oh, I've had a daughter. Talifle. Yeah. Okay. Young Talifle. Um. God, who can we marry her to? Can she marry, uh... Who's in charge of Galloway these days? Just... Godfrey Ivaring. Margaret Ivaring. Oh no, she's a girl. Do we have any non-engaged sons? I don't think we do. Garrick, okay. Count Bryce of Garrick. Um, oh, he's got an heir here. Let's see if we can marry her off. Uh, let's betroth you to Talaflech. Oh, I lose a load of prestige. How about we make it matrilineal? No! Ah. Um, oh, there's a big flag here. Who's this? Duke Elfwine of Wich. 
Okay, maybe um uh, maybe your son would like to marry my daughter. How's about that? He'd say yes. I'd gain three prestige from marrying into their house, marrying the relative of a duke. Yeah, why not? Is that child of mine like myths and legends or is it more interested in history? I chose the book filled with fascinating legends and one somewhat dry tome filled with history about battles and politics. Um Go on, let's give him a history book. Not sure, entirely sure if my son Fionn enjoyed the stories I told him, but I kept reading until we were both nearly asleep. He was apparently embarrassed by my choice. You can't please anyone in this kingdom. You try to be a good dad, you try to be a good king, and no one is grateful. Oh, great, he's accepted my suggestion for the betrothal. I better not spend much money now, because I want to hit 500 before I die. And I'll probably die quite soon. I'm getting on in years. I'll just let my money tick up for a few months more. How's the vassals doing? Can I increase their taxes, maybe? No, they wouldn't like that, would they? In fact, it might really, really piss them off. Look at this. Tuhul's, uh, Tuhul's really gro grown on me. Well, I've grown on him. Fergal's dead? Oh my god, No! Fergal? No! He, he was my claim to uh, one of these places. Clydesdale. Oh, God. Okay. Your uh, daughter... Oh, no, she's engaged to Fionn. Okay, it wasn't Clydesdale. Where was it, then? Argyle? Oh, the Countess of Argyle. Was that who he... Yeah, he was engaged to her. Um, let's betroth you to one of my other children. I want to lose prestige from this, but I think I will become, like, heir to... Uh, she's got a weak claim on County Ulster. Yeah, let, let's go for it. Anything just to, uh, ex to expand my territory down the line. Oh, game's paused. I was wondering why nothing was happening at all. Okay, she's accepted the suggestion. She's a baby. I don't know how she's... Ex oh, she's eight. Okay, and she must think my son is dreamy. So that's good. Um, might get a bit of a claim there on a good chunk of Scotland. Oh, what's that? Malcolm IV has declared Scottish Island de jour a war over Sariar on King Gr Goodraid the Wise. Who's good raid the wise? Look at these islands here. Uh, Jatland. Is that Shetland? Oh, a message about a call to arms from Ecbert Sajian. Glorious King Connor. Um, we request you honour obligation to answer this call to a war against King Garcia II of Leon, King Eric of Denmark, and King Wanko of Poland. Wanko? Oh my god, what a name. Um... This is from... Who? Who the hell are you? Shatland. He's uh, from Norway. How do I know you? Uh, wh why are we pulled into this war? Let, let's, uh, let's talk about this a little. How about you marry one of my daughters? You can marry Kobthla. Matrilineally? No. Okay, I gained 33 prestige and um, minus 100 for marrying a duke. Okay, I... Oh, right, they're both prestige, so it would break even at, like, 77, I think. Or minus 77. Um, but I'd get into the house of Orkney Jar. Yeah, okay, fine. And I guess... I guess I'll accept your uh, claim... I'm not going to actually fight in this war. I'm sure it'll be a flash in the pan. Can we uh, claim Denmark, actually? Because that's one of the places we're at war with now, I think. Over Hamburg. Oh, it's the Holy Roman Empire. That's who's dragged us into this. 
Okay, well, look, if um, when the dust settles, if no one wants Denmark, then... Oh. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Uh, we're somehow at war with Leinster now. Uh, okay. Oh, this could work for my advantage. Where are my mercenaries? Uh, I have 407 gold. I'm sure I can hire a decent amount with that. Um, I pay 150. Or if I can get the 300 gold ones. They cost 20.85 a month then. Okay, that's a bit pricey. 225. I get all these men, like 3,000 men. I've still got plenty of money left over. Yeah, why not? Let's uh, raise the levies and uh, combine them with this force of like 3,000 mercenaries. And let's march on Leinster. Oh, actually... Before I do that, does my army have a leader? Oh, we don't need one. It's fine. I'm leading. I'm leading. Um, what's my <laughs> strength? Uh, 23. Um, why don't we get someone else to lead the army? I don't think I can. Okay, well, best to die in battle then. They're taking the county of Leinster. Magnificence. Oh, brilliant. The betrothal has been accepted. Oh, here comes the war. Oh no, we're losing. Come on, reinforcements, get in there. In there, a daughter was born to Brian again. My men have managed to corner Dunka. He resisted bravely before they slew him. Comic Murka, spouse to Anna. Uh, good riddance, I guess. I'm not sure who he was. Defeat. Okay, that's because my army hadn't arrived yet. You jerks. Okay, this time we're winning. Victory! Bishop Kerpra of Ferns was captured in battle and is now my prisoner. Perfect. Um, can we take Dublin as well? Is that too much to ask? Ah, oh, it kind of is. We'll just hold on here first. We'll uh, take control of Leinster and then move on to Dublin because uh, I don't want to push myself too far. And we have these mercenaries to pay for. I can't have them uh, going rogue again. Let's speed this up. I'm getting bored of this siege. Come on. <laughs> Hurry. Hurry. Don't, need, don't want to run out of gold before this is over. Oh, who's this guy in my dungeon, actually? Maybe if I banish him. Um, yeah. The Bishop of Ferns. What if I was to... I can release him. I can ransom him for 25 gold. I can execute him. I can arrange a marriage. Um... Okay, I'll just hold on to him for now. But, uh, actually, no. I think I need the gold. I'm going to ransom him. Your, uh, your bishopness. You are being ransomed. And do I have anyone else in jail? Anyone I can banish? Um. Oh, Donald Wavrian. Um, if I ransom him, I'll only get ten gold, but... It's gold, you know? I, I need it to support the war. No one else, though. Okay, can I get a loan or something? No. Crap. Okay, I'm going to bankrupt myself with this. Oh, what's this? The heroic king. Peace be with you. I accept your rants. Okay, well, they've accepted my ransoms anyway. Now I just have to... Uh, not go bankrupt long enough to take control of um, this city of Lechlin and we're in business it's like a race will this number tick down before this one? Oh my god I don't know if it's going to um, can I change the laws 
get the noble vassal tax higher. It'll decrease my vassal's opinions by minus 30. I can't really afford a minus 30. I could probably push it up to minus 20. Oh, it's on minus 10 at the moment. I just really need to fund this war. Hooray! Are, are we breaking even yet? Oh, it's going up! Oh no, it's going down. <laughs> Perfect, my liege. The mission to Rome has been good. Perfect. Okay. Come on, we've nearly got it. Come on, guys. You can do this. You can do this. Oh, the defenders are weak. The defenders are weak. Victory! Oh! Perfect. Okay. Now let's, uh... Let's contact the guy in charge of Ferns. Or the guy in charge of Leinster and, um... We can only ransom prisoners. How come we can't just take hold of his, uh, land or anything? I suppose because he's not the head honcho, is he? Who is the head honcho, then? Who? The guy in Dublin, I presume. Oh, right, Earl Donal. Yeah. Siege of Ferns. Are we still sieging Ferns? I thought we just won the Siege of Ferns. Condal McDonough has been imprisoned. Um, who's Condal McDonough? Some prisoner, I guess. Um, oh, she's a woman. Okay. Um, is she heir to anything? She's um, got claims to Dublin and to Leinster. Okay. How about we arrange for her to marry someone? We force her to... Or a betrothal. Where is she? We're going to force her to marry... Ah, oh, we can't. Okay. What if I ransom her? How much is she worth? Ten gold. Not a lot, is it? Okay, this is... This is a tough decision. My levies are raised too long. Um, let's see. I've got two weak claims. No, I'm not going to press on those. I, I just want to finish this war, but I'm not going to be able to. My things are too expensive. How much are those mercenaries costing me per month? It's like 20-something. 14.59 per month. If I can't win this siege in the next... Uh, I'd say I'll get three months at most out of it. Then, no, not going to happen. There's 994 defenders here. What are my levies? I've got 206. I can bring that up to 807. Okay. Then, my 817 plus my 291 might just be enough to uh, hold on to ferns. I'm not sure though. Is there no way I can just um, I can just fix this? Ossery! Maybe I can get some help from you. Um, can I request an invasion? No. No, we have to be at I must be at peace. Um, I must have fewer realm holdings. Um, okay, no, that's not going to happen. Oh, the, the, the numbers just aren't there. I, I've won every. I've won the battle, but I don't think I can win the war. Right. If I get rid of these guys, that's three thousand and forty-two good men gone, and we're going to get slaughtered. Tell you what, I'll raise the levies. I've got more men here now. Oh my god, I've only got 206 men here. Okay. Less than I expected. Um, let's just keep it up a little longer and see what happens. We might be able to wear it down fast enough. I don't think so, but it could happen, you know, where we could come into some extra money. Actually, yeah, let's, uh, let's ransom off that woman. 
Why not? Um, ransom her for 10 gold. And can I get gold some other way? Where are my vassals? Surely I can demand some extra money from them or something. Merka, um, give me a load of money. No, no, that's not an option. Crap. Okay, I'll... Wisdom and Mercy are legendary. Okay, he accepted the ransom. We can keep going a little while longer. Just a little while, though. Maybe, like, two more months. Okay, we can keep this up for one more month. I think that's all we need, though. Look. We've just nearly won. Oh, a child lacks a guardian. Um, okay, let's have her educated by Dermot. Why not? Her brother can do it. Okay, come on. Victory! Okay, perfect. Christian pilgrims to the Holy Land suffer all manner of abuse and the roots are not safe. In order to protect the pilgrims and secure Jerusalem for Christ and faithful, His Holiness Pope An Anaketus II has accepted the possibility of an outright invasion by joint Christian forces. This signals a new era of large-scale Christian holy wars, the Crusades. Brilliant. Okay, crap. I'm going to have to get involved in that, am I? They're going to make me do it. Who's left here? A levy of 681 in uh, that place. Okay, can I just... Come on. Come on, won't you just surrender? Oh, I can't afford this. I'm going to have to stand down my assassins because... Well, I could keep them for a no one more month, but I don't think that's enough. Did I get any prisoners? Maybe if I have a nice juicy prisoner in the cells, I can ransom Oh, th those are my vassals, sorry. Prisoners? No, I didn't see any. Ah, oh, no. Okay, um... Can I sell anyone into slavery or anything? My allies. My brother-in-law, Ekbert Salarian. Can I beg him for money? No. Crap. Oh, there's nothing intriguey I can do. Like, uh... Sell my children... Demand money from the Pope. No, God. Okay. I'm in a bit of a pickle here. Right. Oh, I can raise levy fleets. This is a coastal town. Um, maybe I could do that. If I get rid of 3,069 there, I'm really not going to have enough men. They have 681 garrison in the place. Yeah, I'm going to be slightly outnumbered. And they're in a big castle, so they've probably uh, got the better defence there. So... Crap. Okay, I'm going to stop recording here anyway, and just uh, take some time and plan my next move. I think this may be the end of uh, this part of the war, but I guess we'll see you next time. So I'll see you then. Goodbye.